How to add points in Streamlabs. Adding points in Streamlabs makes your stream more fun and interactive for viewers. Now, if you are looking for that, then here is the tutorial for it. The first thing that we are going to do is basically open our dashboard. So you can just go ahead and click this one here. If you don't see that one, you're just going to go ahead and click the dashboard button, which is this one. So go ahead and click this one here. All right, now that we are here, we're just going to go ahead and look for our cloud bot. So I'm going to open mine and here we are. So we have here the loyalty. You're just going to go ahead and activate or click this one here and then you're going to go ahead and activate. So how do you enable this one or activate this one? You're just going to hit the settings and then here in the settings, you have here your loyalty system. You're going to go ahead and toggle this on just like what I have here. Now for the loyalty name, you can go ahead and change this one. But basically, I just named it points in order for us to understand it easier. Now, after doing so, you should click this one here, the users. Now, users are the people who have already viewed your stream. So I have here two names. Now, these are the YouTubers that have viewed my stream. So yep, that's basically how you're going to do it on Streamlabs side. Now, just go ahead and make sure to enable this one in order for everything to work. Another thing that we are going to do is basically open our YouTube studio. All right, now here in our YouTube studio, what we are going to do is basically scroll down and click the settings. And here in the settings, you should see here community. So go ahead and click this one. Now, as you can see the managing moderators, I have already added Streamlabs in here. You are going to do the same thing. So you can put this, uh, so you can put Streamlabs here in the managing moderators or standard moderators. Basically both is going to be okay. In my case, I just put it on managing moderators. Now, how are you going to add this one? So I'm going to close this one or remove this one and show you how to make it work. So you're going to go ahead and click this one here and then you should see Streamlabs here. So what you're going to do is right click and then copy the link or you can also click this one here and copy this one. Now, once you're done copying it, you're going to go back here and you're going to just paste the link in here just like so. Now, if you don't see that one, you're going to go ahead and paste it here just like this one. And then you're going to go ahead and click the save button. After doing so, you're going to go back to the settings, community, and we're going to go ahead and write Streamlabs once again, or basically paste that link that we had earlier. So, yep, that's basically how you're going to do it. Again, I'm going to paste the link here, click the save button. Now, if I were to go back there once again, you should see this one here. Now, you can see that under standard moderators, the link is now gone or Streamlabs is gone. And now it is in here in managing moderators. So, yep, that's how you are going to do it. From this point forward, you can go back here and then we're going to go ahead to our store. This time you have your loyalty store. You can go ahead and create new item. So we have three item types here. We have stream perk, sound effect, and access code. So you can go ahead and make these and then you're going to go ahead and put an associated price here. So the cost here is the points that they are gonna be using. So yep, that's basically how you are going to do it. From this point forward, you can go ahead and start going live. Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up, all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.